Hoorah! Hello, I'm Zek here and welcome back to my channel. And today, in today's video, I am taking on the Doodle Shapes Challenge. If you don't know what the Doodle Shapes Challenge is, it is a challenge created by an artist named A4 Man Artist, where you are given a simple shape and you are challenged to create something using that shape in one hour or less. The shape for this time's challenge is, as you can see here, this shape right over here. And uh, I already did the challenge and I did it on stream. Thank you to everyone who made it to the stream and chatted with me during that stream. It was a lot of fun. But for today's video, I have the speed paint version of it. So uh, let's get into... Let's get into the voiceover and speed paint, shall we? So the first thing I did before I started the timer for one hour was I took the shape off of the page that it comes on and I put it on a separate canvas that I was going to work on and then I turned it around a bunch of times to see what I could see, what I could come up with to do with this shape. And in the end, I found something uh, to do when you turn the shape uh, pretty much 180 degrees, so just flip it upside down. And once I saw that, I reoriented the shape and then set my timer for one hour and got into doing this challenge. So the idea that I went with for this Diddle Shapes challenge was that the shape was the was smoke coming out of a volcano. And uh, it was me just trying to be kind of creative with what I could come up with um, because the first thing that I would think of when I'd see a closed shape would be kind of to make something out of that shape where that shape is um, the thing. Um, because that's just like, like the first thing I saw was kind of like a satellite dish or a, a tack. <laughs> You know, something like that. Um, but I was like, okay, let me try to be uh, stretch my creativity a little bit and see something else. And so I thought about like, well, okay, maybe it's not the shape that's the thing really, but rather the, everything around the shape. And that's when I kind of saw that this pointy bit on the shape could actually be like um, a crack in the volcano. So that was uh, just me trying to think outside of the box a little bit when I uh, got this shape. The style or the way I went about kind of making this happen, uh, making my idea happen, was kind of similar and inspired by the style I went with for my 4th of July drawing. Um, if you haven't seen it, I have a bit that video linked up in a card. And uh, the reason why I chose to do it in that silhouette kind of way was for a few reasons. Um, one, because the shape itself is very sharp, and that style is very silhouette and very sharp, very cartoony in that way, so I felt it would match. And two, because that 4th of July drawing took me under an hour to make from beginning to end, so I was like, well, there you go, I, that should work for this, yeah, okay. Um, but I actually ran into quite a bit of trouble with this illustration. I mean, all the things that were just like really easy for the other illustration was just not happening very much here. Like when I tried to do the, um, the sort of the sunset lighting coming from the back, I had to redo that so many times because it kept looking weird and wrong. I couldn't get the lava to look right. And in the end, it was actually trying to keep to this sharp shape that was really hard for me personally. Uh, I think it's because uh, my own style was kind of creeping in to too much into the shading and the coloring that suddenly this really vectory, you know, very sharp shape um, was just standing out so much and like I, I so so much wanted to just like change it slightly and like change the edges of the shape um, so that it would fit better but that would be totally cheating so I didn't do that and I just did my best but I had to reshade in the steam or the cloud or the, the what, what do you call it the smoke i don't know what do you call that billowing puffy stuff coming out of a volcano is it steam is it smoke i don't know let me know 
But yes, it was a little hard to get it, everything to look cohesive without that shape just like standing out so, so much. And in the end, what I did is I actually did soften the edge of that, that shape. So I actually got rid of the line work, the original line work, and uh, just like softened out the edge so that it would look a little bit more cloud-like, I suppose, but still keeping very much to how that shape is shaped. <laughs> So as I mentioned in the intro, this is a challenge created by uh, an illustrator named A4 Man Artist and I found him, I think through a Facebook YouTube group or something like that. Um, and once I did, I immediately really loved his channel and really loved just his community that he's built because he's quite new to YouTube. However, he has been building this community around the whole Doodle Shapes challenge thing uh, for a while on different social media sites and I just really love what he's been doing and uh, how he creates this challenge that is really fun and like uh, lots of like kids, parents and their kids do this together and I just think that's just really really great that uh, you know he found a way to you know kind of bring art and creativity to everyone out there. Because it's such a like a simple concept, and as a matter of fact, I actually used to play this uh, game. I think I called it like the line game or something. When I was a kid, I played it all the time, and this was like way before I was even into art for for real. Um, where you know one person would like draw a squiggly line, and then they would hand off that squiggle to someone else, who then had to find a way to turn that into a drawing. And um, I, and there's also the blob challenge that a lot of artists do, where they just put like a blob of paint, and then they try to make something out of that blob of paint. Um, but A Foreman, you know, he took it to a kind of organized monthly challenged level way, and I think that that is great because. Just taking that extra step of having, you know, a couple of rules and having it be this monthly challenge thing, it gets people a lot more motivated to actually go and do it because now, you know, people can actually be part of a community and they can see uh, what other people have done with the shape and, you know, they can chat and whatever. And I think that that's just, that's really cool. So if you're watching this A4, man, good on you. <laughs> Now at this point in the illustration uh, that you can see me drawing, people were giving me some suggestions in the live chat of the live stream, and they said, "Hey, you know what? Well, maybe maybe you should put a little Zach here back there hanging with the dinosaurs." So with that final touch, the piece was finished. The 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 beeper just went off. Uh, yeah, yay. So as you could tell from my totally enthusiastic round of applause for myself that I wasn't completely totally happy with how this illustration turned out. There were just some little things that I really wanted to like make better but overall it was very fun to do and I am pretty happy with how the thing turned out and yes. So thanks to A4Man Artist for setting up this really cool challenge. Uh, I hope you guys will go and check out uh, his channel and maybe you'll participate in the next Toodle Shapes challenge. I'm looking forward to participating again uh, if I can find the time because uh, I wanted to participate in the previous ones as well but I just something always got in the way and I wasn't able to do it but this time around I managed to do it so that was, I'm, I'm glad and hopefully I will have time to do it again in the future. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this sort of uh, shorter video this time. And uh, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I always love to read your comments. What did you think about? How did I do for this Doodle Shape Challenge? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to read them. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to stay notified for upcoming videos. I make new videos every week, usually posting on Sundays. If you want to follow me on social media, all the links to that are in the description box where you can follow me for daily updates. And until next time, stay awesome, stay inspired, always. Ba ba ba!